I've got Miss Stella out, aka Chicken, and she's come in for our two week in house training. She's come in for a little bit of a different reason. Um, you know, there are some of these big, and if, I mean, she's a very gentle giant, honestly. You know, she's not having any issues with people and stuff. Like the hot dogs, I saw that tail wagon. But she um, gets nervous when you try to do anything with her. Um, and I can definitely see that. The tail's tucked, you know, the behavior, you know. Hi. Hi. All right. Want one? Can you see it? Good girl. So she does know a little bit. That's nice. Um, but we want to kind of get her out of her shell. We want to kind of get her around other people and, you know, get her in the building and make sure that she's comfortable, that sort of thing. So that's what we're going to work on. Um, it's going to be a little different with Masella because actually the obedience part of it may not be 100% of what she needs as far as that goes. Hey, come on. So we got a little pulling going on, not terrible. Stella, sit. Oh, I get kisses, but no sits. Sit. Good. I think she's kind of waiting to see if I had a reward to give her. She doesn't know what it means, but she kind of wants to wait until she knows she's going to get something until she does it, which isn't always a good thing when they get to call their own shots and make their own rules. Um, I haven't seen any of the piddling problems at this point. Um, you know, she hasn't been nervous enough that she has um, piddled when I've went in the run to get her out. Um, but we'll see how that tracks as we go the next two weeks. Um, but we're going to get her out at the end of week one and see if she's made any improvements. Hopefully some of the socialization behavior. It's not going to be as evident um, on the week one video. Hopefully we'll be making the progress in-house where she's getting to greet everybody and stuff like that. Um, but we still are going to try to get those basic commands in on command the first time. So we'll put her up and get her back out at the end of week one. I've got Stella out and she's been here for a week so I wanted to put a little bit on tape and show you where she's at. She's doing really good. She's made a lot of improvements in the first week. Um, I think maybe consistency was part of the issue. I'm not sure. But having her get out every day and kind of work around the traffic and work inside the building, um, she's getting a lot more confident. She comes out a run when she sees her leash. She wants to get out and do this. So um, I think that by the time you get her back home, hopefully, you know, she'll be doing so well that maybe some of those issues she's had at home um, don't come right back, that sort of thing. So we'll put her through her paces and show you what she's learned. Hey, Stella. Good girl. Good. So one thing with a less confident dog, I do, I don't necessarily ask him to walk in heel position right away. You know, we can go for a good walk and just make sure she's not nervous. Sit. No, sit. She does have to sit when you stop. Good girl. But she can just go for a free walk. That's more important sometimes because when they get those nervous tendencies, you don't want to tighten up, make them be in heel position. That kind of makes them really freaky. So what we do is we just go for a free walk and then we start reining it in a little bit. Right here. Good. Good girl. Stella, sit. Good. She's still got a no stay because stay means no. So if she's not doing that, we do want to be able to give her a correction. She's watching the traffic, but she's not moving away from it or shying away, anything like that. There comes a big one. See that big truck, Stella? Not even a worry. No. Good girl. Okay. Good job. Yeah. Hey. Nope. So now we're asking her to rein it in a little bit. You know, she does need to have a little bit of control. So we are kind of starting to do some of that healing this week. Sit. Good. You stopped and looked. You just didn't sit, huh? All right, let's go. Come on, Stella. Hurry, hurry. Good. Good girl. Sit. Oh, you did that one automatically. They're always going to be a little slow at sit because of how big they are. Stella, stay.
What? No, wait. Now, okay. Okay, yeah. All right, good girl. Hey, come on. Stella, sit. Good, let's go. Come on. Hey, you missed. Let's go. We played this game a lot when she first came in. Sit. Get it. Stella, come. Sit. No. Too close. Get it. Stella, come. Sit. Good. She's getting a little too close. Big dog, she's going to jump on you. She kind of got hop up about it. Sit. Good. So I want to teach her to sit out, not sit right in front of me. You know, right in front's fine, but she can come in a little slower. We did a lot of that get it come to kind of get it out of her shell. Sit. And to make sure she was learning and kind of coming along nicely. Sit. But so far, so good. I think she's doing very well. Um, made a big improvement, actually, in a week. So, um, you know, I think personality-wise, she's doing great. Um, she's, she's getting over some of those fears. So I think we've got, a, we've got it going well. So we'll put her up and get her back out and tape her before she goes home and see how she's doing then. Good girl.